Welcome into our Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week between the Churchville Chilai Saints and the Spencerport Rangers. Matt Winthrop joined alongside by VJ Stanley. We've got a rivalry matchup here tonight. VJ, what are you expecting in this game? Well, not only is it a rivalry and they've played each other before, but you've got senior night, you've got a lot of emotion, you've got a lot of players. I think we're in for a really good game with this uh, Again, like you said when we were talking off camera, man, there, there's a rivalry between these two schools that encompasses all the sports. Absolutely. And we're going to take it to the action in just a minute. This is the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. It's the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week. Starting for the Saints, forwards number 10, Tanner Metcalf. Number 16, Alan Brault. And number 26, Ryan Cosgrove. On defense, number 18, Tyler Bennett. Number 24, Nick Kuzlik. And number 30, Ben Trembath in goal. Starting for the Rangers, forwards, number five, Nicholas Sharon, number 10, Max Moran, and number 14, Brandon Corey. On defense, number three, Tyler McDonald. Number 18, Tyler DeCoss. And number 30, Daniel Nichols in goal. We're here with Churchville Chilai Saints head coach Brian Young. It's been two weeks since your last game. What's the wait been like for you guys? I mean, the boys are getting anxious, but uh, we, we were in a situation where we had to get a couple guys healthy and really needed the time to restructure and simplify our game to get back to what we were in the beginning of the season, which was competitive. So we've had the time to do that. Um, boys are coming back with a little bit of uh, energy and almost all healthy. So we're looking forward to putting something out there early on tonight. And this is your only game within a week. You don't have one until next Wednesday. So what's it like to have this schedule where you have all these games kind of spread out? I don't mind it. Uh, early on, you know, we took we took a lot of heat playing in a lot of games early. And, you know, the boys, you can never really get used to that. Um, but what it did was it allowed us this time right now to for the boys to focus in on things like getting healthy and um, simplifying their, their games, trying some new lines out in practice. You know, we can run a, a set of lines in one practice and then the next day run a whole different set of lines without having to worry about you know how it's going to affect us in a game but we've had some time to work with some new boys together and we're excited to see what they can do out here tonight but you know that combined with uh, the midway through the school year and the boys are stressed out with academics and everything it's good to have that extra time this is a senior night for you guys so what's something special about this senior class guys like bennett and cosgrove two of your captains and the other seniors as well these guys are the rock you know they're so far this season everybody's been looking up to them to to try and make sure that you know our, our train is on the right track, and you know, they've done a phenomenal job. You know, guys like Kazi, who've been around since an eighth grader, you know, he's been through some really good times with Churchville Chile, and he's been through some some really rough times with Churchville Chile, and every every bit of that has helped him learn and become the best captain that he could be. And you know, between him and Bennett and Phillips, they've just they've had a phenomenal senior year as leaders, as guys that we're looking to promote our program at the lower level. You know, we're we're going to miss them for cer uh, for certain next year, but you know, hopefully they have a good standing out here tonight, and it's something that they can uh, take with them as they move on. What do you guys need to do tonight to make sure you get the win against these guys? We got to make sure that we can contain uh, their top line's probably one of the best in Section Five, and we definitely have to make sure that we're forcing them to either you know cough pucks up or make plays that they don't really feel comfortable making. So a lot of that's going to be pressure in the defensive zone. And then if we can capitalize offensively, um, you know, it's a new energy with the new lines, I think we'll uh, hopefully get some success early on. And if we can get the motivation going, I like our chances tonight. Thanks, Coach. Get out there. Have some fun. Thanks, Matt. We're here with Spetsport Rangers head coach Jason Rich. You come into this game having a rough past couple games, but what have you seen out of your team that you look to improve on tonight? Uh, we're just looking to get ourselves playing together a little bit. Uh, you know, we've gotten away from what's made us successful, and uh, we want we want to get ourselves back together, playing together as a unit, and, and putting some pucks in the net. Last time you played Churchville, you defeated them. What do you remember from that game? Uh, they're a tough team. They they come at you hard. They, they 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 play a physical game, and they got a couple guys that are, are really strong around the net and, and can move the puck. So it's it's never an easy easy game against Churchville and we, we expected on their senior night we expect them to come out flying they've been off for a couple weeks they're gonna have a they're gonna have a spark and uh, we're gonna have to uh, try to match that and, and, and try to get them to play up to our level. You have quite the top line in Sharon, Corey and Simoncelli how much fun has it been to watch them this year? When they're going it there's there's nothing better than watching those three those three work you know I, I really feel like uh, they, they have the might be the best line in the league if, if they're going and hitting on all cylinders. A lot of good hockey players out there, a lot of good uh, a lot of good players, but those three together when they're going, I'll, I'll put them up against anyone. Three division games left, including tonight. 
what are you expecting out of your team as far as going up against those division teams and getting those extra points, getting ready for sectionals? Uh, just passion. Come out and play with passion, pride in their school. You know, we get to celebrate our seniors on Saturday, and uh, it's been a, a good class for us. A uh, small class, but a good class. And, uh, you know, we're going to miss them, and we want to send them off with, with some victories. We don't, we don't want to go away in the night here. We want to make some noise on the way out. Thank you, Coach. Good luck tonight. Thank you. The Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week will return after these messages. High School Hockey on My18 is brought to you in part by Ralph Honda, done right. Canandaigua National Bank and Trust and Rick's Prime Rib. Welcome into the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week. Here is the Scottsville Ice Arena between the Churchill Chinese Saints and the Spencerport Rangers. Matt Withrop joined alongside by VJ Stanley. And uh, we're expecting a good matchup here, senior night for Churchville. Yeah, I want to recognize the parents with all that they have to do, driving the kids around back and forth. And new sports has become extremely expensive. A big thank you out to the senior parents and all the parents in attendance here and at watching at home. Absolutely. As a turnover already, Cosgrove pass across a shot on net. Rebound opportunity is set aside. That put on by Alan Bro. Nice pass from Cosgrove. Battle behind the Spencer Port net. They have about four players back there. Brandon Corey eventually digs it out. Leading scorer for the Spencer Port team. Manages to get around Cosgrove, falls down. And a good play made by Bennett, one of the seniors on this Churchill team. Tried to come in through the middle, good poke check by the defense. Churchill makes a change. Puck comes over to Dacos. It's just in the Churchill zone. Poked away by Bennett. Boy, he stands up nice at the blue line, doesn't he, Maddie? Absolutely. You can tell he's a senior by his poise. The pass comes to center ice. Now breaking free is Connolly. And he gets taken down. We're going to have our first penalty coming up as going to the box will be Zach Olson, the freshman. He'll sit, my guess is I would have to say a trip. You could probably go trip, trip or, or slash. slash. Yeah, yeah. You, you do have a tripping trip. call. Our officials tonight. There are Gene Shoma and Paul Sheeb. I have to read VJ's handwriting, but yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it. chicken scratch. <laughs> so our first power play. Face off one by the Saints and flipped up out of play. Heads up, Coach Christie. He's okay. He, he probably played hockey. He'll be all right. We're used to puck flying at us. Face off will stay inside the Churchill zone. Clean win for the Rangers. Back to the points to Koss. Over to Besser. Corey along the far half wall. Nice pass across, but couldn't get in. Not going to be able to get it with Sharon. He'll circle back to the point. Oh, nice give and go. Corey with a shot. I believe that was saved by Phillips, or maybe he hit a body in front. But no, left, left pad. He did get it. Okay. Good call, Matty. Good movement on the power play. It's Besser with it. Flip back in by Corey. Simoncelli gets there first. Good poke check by Kuzlik, and they'll send it down. His reach, every time we watch him, you know, you think the kid has the puck, and then all of a sudden he just reaches out and grabs it and sends it down the ice. It's a real nice defensive play. He's 6'3", 220, VJ, and he's a junior. Does he you play know? football? Not too sure. I'll have to ask Young about that. Maybe he won't let him... Want well, to focus on hockey? He's a stud oh, defenseman. You know how I feel about that. I know. Multiple sports. Oh, I know. They play better when they play more than one. We have the medical evidence. A shot blocked oh, in front, and nearly breaking oh. free was Alves. But nonetheless, a good play made by Cullen. He'll send it down. <laughs> Churchill gets their change with six seconds left on this penalty to Olson. Coming away with it, Sharon, the second leading scorer on this Spencerport team. Penalty is up. Kuzlik with it. Backhands this one. It does stay in. And now it's Cosgrove with speed. He gets poked off the puck and fanning on it was Bro. We can back check by Sharon to prevent a shot. He's, Cosgrove is so strong on his skates. Look at the balance and the width. And now it's Connolly. He'll cycle back. Bennett plays him. 
A good play by Bennett. He's joining the rush. Pass too far to the reach for Bro, so McDonald will just slap it back up further, and Bennett will take it back. Bro with it again. He'll flip this one in a little further. No icing. Metcalf's actually going to get there first for the Saints, but good play by McDonald to poke it away. Back come the Rangers. Trying to get the puck out of their zone, but it comes back to the point. A shot gets blocked down in front. Conley couldn't find it, but eventually they get it. Now it's Soretto, and a good hit by Metcalf coming back. Nice clean hit too, man. You see how he got in front of him and then lowered his shoulder? That's a nice play. Soretto's a bigger guy too. Cross ice pass, poked away off the stick of Simicelli by Olsen. And a shot put on net. Another nice save. Phillips is looking strong so far. The senior getting some action today. It's only had one game this year in net. He's also played defense for him at times this year. Oh, that's close enough for multiple sports for me. <laughs> Those goalies are different. Good poke check by Bro. Puck flipped up in the air. Bester gets there first. Good pace here, Manny, but we're not getting flow through the neutral zone. Puck slapped around to Frazier. Pass up to Corey, and a good play by Collins to poke it away from the dangerous Brandon Corey. He is a big boy. A backhand, a rebound opportunity. Corey's there, pokes it, but it goes wide, I believe. Might have been Kuzlik or Cosgrove poked it away. I thought it was Cosgrove. That was a phenomenal play. Those are the two players you're going to have to watch out for today, but a great back check. And we're going to take a break right now. This is the high school hockey game of the week, only on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the high school hockey game of the week on My18 Sports. As Spencerport and Churchville are battling out with about 10 minutes left in the first. Sharon with it now in the far corner. Good stick handling by Sharon. McDonald will cycle it down low for Moran. And the two teammates collide. And it comes back to the Saints. They'll try and get it out. McDonald keeps it in. His cross ice pass blocking a quick shot by Moran. Might have surprised Phil from he makes the save. Tried to get it over to Sharon. Good hit by Bennett, but I believe we have a call coming up, and that's holding. a holding call. Fans not happy about that one. Just want to take time to mention our first period is sponsored by Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. 23 locations throughout the Rochester area to serve you. Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, investing in you for over 125 years. What are your thoughts on the call there, VJ? Um, uh, I don't know about that. I thought he, I thought that was a good hit. Maybe He's he got, saying he grabbed his jersey. I was going to say, maybe from up here, it might have looked like he got his jersey a little bit, but maybe just a forearm shiver in a way. So second power play for the Rangers. Quick shot on by Sharon and a good glove by Phillips. Now when Spencerport gets the puck in that zone, boy, they're really moving well. They do give and goes. They go weak side. And they got some real good puck movement. Now Churchville Chile has got to play the body and stay in the lane, the passing lanes. And I talked to Jason Rich, head coach of Spencerport, before the game, mentioning how Brandon Corey, Nick Sharon, and Matt Simoncelli, is, he thinks is one of the best lines in Section 5, and they're Absolutely. exciting to watch. Well, and they're very unselfish. You know, they, they look for each other. They're not really interested in terms of who gets the, the credit and who gets the goal. I really like that line. It's Besser with it. Nice cross ice pass to Sharon. Enters his zone. Good poke oh, check nice. by Collins. You know, I, each time I watch him, I like him. He's not a real big guy, but he keeps making good plays at the point of attack. Coach Young has put a lot more trust into Collins this year. The junior, we've got one more season. Simmons Selly will bank it off the boards on the other side of his own zone to Besser, who drops it back for him, but it's stolen by Cosgrove. Waits for help, but a good play oh. by Corey to break that pass up. And here he comes. Nearly splits the D, but again, a good poke check by Kuzlik. And don't you see how Cosgrove, Kuzlik's phenomenal, and he's already playing great, but don't you see how Cosgrove, the puck seems to follow him? He just is in a smart position each time. Corey with it again. Goes off for a change. Good play by Sharon. He'll get the puck. Oh, I thought that was offside. And that's Connolly with it now. Oh, and he couldn't get a shot off. A good play by Metcalf, and a pass comes on in front, but we have a penalty. 
A slap shot by Sharon blocked. And I'm not sure it's a cross check. Did they say cross check? I believe that's yeah, what he did. Metcalf. So another power play or another penalty for the Saints, and we'll have an abbreviated, very abbreviated five on three as two seconds left what? in the penalty to Bennett. I would imagine he'll just stick right on the penalty kill. Corey staying out. Uh, I thought it was good back checking. Sharon is out. This line is taking a, a short rest and then coming right back out. Got the big defenseman back there too in Besser. Also just want to give a special shout out and we're excited to welcome our new sponsor rocksportsnetwork.com where you'll be able to watch tonight's game and all of our games this season on demand 24-7 on your desktop, smartphone, or mobile device. That's rocksportsnetwork.com. Now you can save a second here when Bennett comes out, let someone else go from the inside. See, he would have been right there in front. And a bit of an odd deflection. I believe that was off an own Saints player. And that went off at Spencer Port Sticks, so the faceoff will come out of the zone. When you have those penalty box right next to the bench, when the guy is in the penalty box, he's outside the blue line, you can then have one guy come out right at the other end and save yourself about 30 feet. And right there, when the draw came to him, he would have been right in front of the defenseman. And Bennett stays out there on the penalty kill. Arguably their most valuable defenseman. It's Besser. And now Simoncelli. We'll send this one in. Bennett gets there first. And a good play He's by got him. Good hands. It's Sharon. Down low to Simoncelli. Looking to pass it out in front, but they'll send it back to the point. A wrist shot put on that block right by Cosgrove. A race to the puck between he and Besser. And he look at Cosgrove with a good play. Couldn't get it out in front to Cullen. Look at it back check. What leadership. Sharon's backhand on that. It's still there, but he manages to get it back. Back to the points to Koss. His slap shot, glove save made. I couldn't see that one up here, BJ. I don't know how he saw that. I couldn't see it. You know, man, you called it before the game. He's only played one game. He's played a little bit of defense, but he has been outstanding in this first period. And we had a perfect angle from our broadcast booth and we couldn't see the puck and he could. That was an outstanding save. He did win the one game he's played this year. So penalty is up. Puck comes down to Evan Connolly. He's looking for an option. He'll give it over, over to Dobles. He'll fire a shot. That one was going wide, but nonetheless Phillips will glove it and he'll hold play. 20 seconds on the power play. And that's a real smart play by the goaltender. Excellent. Settle it down. If you win the draw and get it out at Cosgrove after like about a 15 second rest comes back out and the ref's not gonna allow it. 651 left in the first. This looks like Spencer Board's trying to get a match or no, Churchill's should, trying to get a matchup going. He should scoot down to the other far end where the other goalie is. I believe that's why they wanted to do it, because Connolly won that face off clean. Nearly had a shot on net. Oh, great play by Bennett. Oh my gosh. That puck sent down all the way to where Dan Nichols will play it for his defenseman, McDonald. I mean, he, he's got talent, but right there, that was just desire. These Churchill seniors playing strong tonight. And that's an icing call. It's not the best clearing. Penalty is up. 6.25 remaining, no score in the first period. Glad he could join us here at My 18 Sports. And a good matchup too. The first time these two teams met, Spencer Port won that game at home. These two rivals at pretty much every sport. Yes. And I, I mean, I was a part of that rivalry, so I definitely know how it is. Where did you play? Oh, I was a Churchville baseball player. Not much of one. Anyway. Did you have fun? That's all I did. It's the most important thing. Two, two wins JV year was a lot of fun. Nice. Back comes Corey, and he nearly got through. He'll still put a shot on net. That one hit the outside of the net. It's Metcalf. Too far to reach for Bro. So Besser will just flip it up in the air. Cosgrove takes it over, and he'll send it back in. And he just moved out of the traffic, got it in, and sent it deep. He's been having a long shift. He wanted to look like he wanted to come off, so he just hung back, and now he's covering for the defenseman. 
And I noticed he gave a nice little stick, a love tap to Brandon <laughs> Corey as well. Good call, Manny. You can definitely tell there's a rivalry between these two teams. Back come the Rangers, it's Dobles. Nearly turns it over. Both of them have good soccer programs too. Yeah. Yeah, Coach Mahoney doing wonders with the varsity program at Churchville in the past couple years. And the Saints come back, it's a freshman, Alves, whose brother is actually the leading scorer at, Ch at Churchville. A pass out in front, and that one goes off the pad is Olsen looking for his first career goal. Kuzlik with it, he'll put a shot on that right into the bread basket of Nichols. You were hoping there'd be a slap shot there, <laughs> yes, BJ. Man, that's exactly. <laughs> Listen, he did the right thing. Let me make sure for those of you at home. That's right. He absolutely got the shot off. He got it quick. He got it hard. But I was waiting for the big cannon as we saw the last game we did here. Man, there, could he fire the puck. If there were a skills competition, I'm pretty sure he <laughs> might have the best slap shot. I haven't seen as good a slap shot with him since Zach Coglin from Brockport a couple years ago. Yeah, good point. Connolly's passed out in front to nobody. It almost comes out of the zone. Bodies flying everywhere, and eventually the Saints regroup. And nice outlet pass. Just out of the reach of Alves. Back comes Moran. Boy, Hor Horvath keeps doing some good things. Puck comes around. McDonald uh, off a line change will send it back in. Looks like the Rangers tried to complete their change, but the puck's still in the zone. Good reverse by Bennett. Puck comes over to Horvath. Right as soon as I compliment him, he turns the puck <laughs> I jinxed him. What a pass by Bennett. Good little touch pass to Cosgrove. Here he comes with speed. One on three. Cosgrove with it. Backhander. Save made by Nichols. Strong skater with great balance, Cosgrove. Down low. It's Cosgrove with it. He it's and Bennett are going to be big losses. Top line for Churchville out there. Bro, trying to poke it away. But eventually, Connolly gets it back. And Bennett flips it to himself. Walks in the zone, gets around one. Bennett tried to pass on the front. Metcalf couldn't get there. And the net's knocked off his moorings as Metcalf goes right into the crease with 3.33 left in the first. And we're going to take a break. This is the high school hockey game of the week, only on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week on My18 Sports. Still zip zip with about three and a half left in the first between the Spenceport Rangers and Churchville Chile Saints. Give McDonald a lot of credit on bringing Metcalf into that uh, net and then he got the face off outside. That's a real heady play by McDonald. A quick shot by Simmons Selly goes off the post. And we're not sure where it is, I believe. The net came off as moorings anyway, but Phillips had it. Heading his equipment, I guess. Yes, inside his left pad, right by his knee. When they, when the goalies bend, that there's a break in the top of the pads, and it doesn't, it doesn't come all the way back to the knee, and there's a little space there, and that's where the puck lodged. Face off in the Churchville zone. Good win for the Saints. They kept in. Oh no, I guess it was offside. Just want to mention yet again, the first period is sponsored by Canandaigua National Bank and Trust. A proud sponsor of high school and youth sports in the Rochester and surrounding communities. Canandaigua National Bank and Trust investing in you for over 125 years. And we have what looks to be a penalty as Simmons Selly is in the box with 314 left. Looked like we had a little head contact there. All right, their first power play. Let's see what happens. It's Corey with it now, shorthanded, tries to lead pass to Sharon, but turns it over, and Metcalf lost his stick, so the Saints have to hold up. Oh, that was a big turnover, too. They had numbers coming. Now, maybe they had numbers because the defenseman knew Metcalf was back there. But, boy, there was a nice gap in here at center ice, and you know how much I like that speed through the neutral zone. We used to teach our kids... In college, you want to get that speed and you get odd numbers and get going hard and fast full roar over the blue line. Face off one by the Saints, but a good play by Corey to steal the puck and send it all the way down for Phillips to play for the Saints. Two-man advantage now for the Saints with another penalty. Should be for a full minute unless they score or take a penalty themselves. 
Here's Bennett. He'll break the red line and dump it in for Metcalf on the far side. Cosgrove. Kuzlik. And a good play made by Sharon. He tries to bank pass to Corey. He's the only one in there. Corey's just comfortable killing time. And a good play made by Corey. He fires a shot save made by Phillips. <laughs> I can't say enough about this young kid. Here comes Cosgrove. Gets around one. A good play made by Corey to poke the puck away. The two captains battling it out. I say it over and over again. Let the kids play. Let a lot of kids play. They'll step up. And I believe we have a penalty to Metcalf. Is Looks like he might have been pushed in, but nonetheless, they're going to call him for goalie interference. So it'll be a four on three for 12 seconds. And Coach Brian Young is not too happy about that call, VJ. Well, like if Metcalf goes to the net, there's no question he keeps going to the net. And uh, like I said the last time, McDonald gave him a shove. Uh, I like it when they go to the net. A lot of good things happen when you go to the net. If that's going to be called, then he's just got to get his butt out and uh, hopefully get the brakes on a little bit. Good faceoff win by Cosgrove, using his strength to take the puck away from Connolly. It's Alves with it. Cosgrove tries a backhander, could not get that one in. He still has it. another wrap around, and he scores. Ryan Cosgrove, you want to talk about single-handed efforts, VJ? Cosgrove makes it one nothing for the Saints, and that will be an even strength goal. As a penalty just was up, but my goodness, somebody came to play on senior night. Well, and Cosgrove came around the first time, and it didn't work. The goaltender tried to get the puck, couldn't get it. Cosgrove then went around the other side, and because the goalie had so much effort in trying to freeze the puck on the right post, he wasn't able to get back over to the left post. Cosgrove scores. And it looked like Cosgrove pretty much stole the puck from Nichols. At first, Nichols couldn't cover it because Cosgrove got a stick in there. Four on four hockey continues. And Bennett nearly loses it, but back comes Cosgrove, who's playing like a man possessed tonight. Hey, you get goaltending like that, I'll tell you, it pumps everybody up. Absolutely. It's Cohen with it now. We, have a now, we now have a power play for the Rangers. Unassisted goal for Cosgrove. And Cullen loses it, tries to kick it to Cosgrove. And back come the Rangers. Besser tries to get around Bennett, but he cannot. And now it's Moran with it. Can't backhand that one on front. Bennett will take this one over, and he'll dump it down. A minute to play in the period. 30 on the penalty. And now it's Besser yet again. He'll give that one to Sharon. Gets around Snover. Sharon walks in, backhander. That one goes wide. What a great backhand. Good play by Nowicki to just chip that one past the defense and all the way down. Boy, he quietly does some really nice stuff. I really like Nowicki. Absolutely. Getting some special teams play. Sharon gets around Kuzlik. The penalty is up. And a shot put on. That one gets deflected up into the netting. This first period is sponsored by Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, your hometown team since 1887, as the community's only local full-service community-owned financial institution. They believe that when your bank and your community work together, great things can happen. Canandaigua National Bank and Trust, member of the FDIC. You did that all in one breath. It's a talent. You Back are the talent. <laughs> Snover's pass too far to the reach of Nowicki. And Saints trying to get a last opportunity. Getting hit hard in the boards is Wazilko. No call. Kuzlik will just flip this one in on Nichols, and he will have to make one last save. Couple of shots being thrown, but that's the end of one with the Saints up one to nothing on the Rangers. And we're going to take a break. This is your Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. High School Hockey on My18 is brought to you in part by Locker Room Sports, Zweigels, and the Rochester Americans. Welcome back to Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week as we are from Scottsville Ice Arena for the Churchville Child Ice Saints 
Home against the Spenceport Rangers. One to nothing after one. And a goal by Ryan Cosgrove to put the Saints up unassisted. A couple of power plays, a couple of five on three. But Cosgrove, what an effort. First on one side of the net, then on the other to get the goal. I think he knows it's senior night and it's his last home game. So he's definitely coming out strong. Sharon with a nice move, but the shot goes wide. Boy, he really impresses me. He skates so fluid, and he has a real nice backhand off his stride, which you don't see a lot from high school kids. Turnover, Bro with it. And it's Metcalf in the near corner, but a good play by Sharon to take the puck off of his stick. His dad, one of the really, truly class guys. That no, that's not comes, icing. That puck comes out of the zone. As you're right, the referee waved out and off, no icing. And Phillips passes that to in the corner and it's taken away by Connolly. He passes it out, Sharon's shot is blocked. Good play by Cosgrove. <laughs> Connolly with it now, gets hit by Cosgrove. I think I'm gonna be saying his name a lot tonight, VJ. I think you already have. <laughs> That's right. And it's Bennett with it. He'll flip it around. Metcalf. That's what I love about Metcalf right there. He gets the body in and he possesses the puck and gets it out of the zone. It's, uh -oh. like, it's like he learned that from his father. Shot on Phillips, and that one bounces down, and it's Bennett. Bennett. Looks like he knocked that one away. Puck comes back to McDonald at the point, who walks in. Pass down in front, and a good play made by Horvath to Cos block that one, and they get sent down for an icing. Cosgrove said that's enough of that. We'll get a change, get some fresh troops. What a block by Bennett. Oh, my gosh. You look for those plays coming down the slot where you could just get everything right into it. Excellent play. 13-30 left, one nothing in the second period. Great game so far. Face-off win for the Saints, but it comes back to Simoncelli, whose shot gets fired wide. On net, Phillips would have had a hard time seeing that. Big hit on McDonald by Kuzlik. That's a size matchup the Rangers don't want. <laughs> But McDonald gets right back up. Nice pass down low to Simoncelli. He tries to like bank that off somebody and go in. Doble's shot gets blocked. And now Collins will try and get this one out, but it's kept in by Doble's. Oh, what a great play. And kept in, a shot fired, and Phillips will squeeze that one as Frazier looked like he was trying to go five hole. He's got to find the puck in his equipment again. Seems to be a problem with him tonight. That's the second time. 12.57 left in the second. Just want to mention the second period is sponsored by Rick's Prime Rib House. Thanks to Phil and the gang at Rick's Prime Rib House for their ongoing support of Section 5 hockey and youth sports in Rochester. Boy, Cullen made two great plays there. Almost got it out. And then an unfortunate bounce. We talk about it a lot, you and I, Maddie, how much luck plays a part. And the puck just happened to bounce into the slot. Slap back in by the Rangers where Bennett will play it for the Saints. And he still has it. Trying to lead pass. Too far to the reach of Metcalf. But he will get there first. Sends it around. <laughs> Cosgrove. <laughs> tried, it looked like he tried to send Besser in the next week. And then Bennett racing to the puck with Connolly. He'll get there first. And the net gets knocked off. I missed that. I was, I was not sure what happened. The net came off at Moorings and Phillips was knocked down. It looked like a couple players must have bumped into it. Yeah, I thought somebody bumped into Metcalf and Metcalf bumped into the net. It might have been Sharon as the two of them are talking about it right now. I think they're asking about where, because Spencer Port's out here in Churchville, Charlie, where we get the pizza after the game. You know, whether you want deep tish, do you want the, the thin slice? They could go to McDonald's since they're now accepting being paid in love instead of money. Oh, that's right. So maybe they're going to the McDonald's like right up the road. Pass comes over to Moran. He'll bang it off the boards and send it in. But Bennett takes over for the Saints. Over to Horvath. And body's falling down, but eventually it's poked back out by Horvath. Metcalf did that, did another play where he just used his strength and his core to stop the Spence support player. Cosgrove tries short side, save made by Nichols. Uh oh. And it's Connolly. Down. He'll walk in, fires a shot off the bar. Oh, great pass by Metcalf between the legs. <laughs> this one's going to go down. Get in there first is Quinn. It's Quinn, the eighth grader. 
Trying to stuff that one in, but Nichols will hold with 11.31 left in this what second period. What a shot off the crossbar. Connolly can bring it, too. I mean, and he didn't slap it either. I mean, that was a quick, hard snapshot. What? Oh, that start, where are we? 11.31 left in the second. That starts to get you frustrated when you get those kind of opportunities. Horvath fell down. You got the clean break. You're coming in off the wing, and you snap it. And you think you got the goalie beat, and you hear one of the best sounds in all of sports, that clang off the pipe. It's frustrating, but also one of the best sounds, depending on which way you look at it. Coming back to McDonald's. Pass up to Soretto. He'll chip it in. Kuzli coming all the way up just to, just to lay a hit, or try to. Just to let him know the blue line's not his for the taking. Pretty much. It's Corey with it, dances around a couple, fires a shot, save made by Phillips, and it just goes to show, given, giving Corey any type of space, it's just a matter of a split second he, make, he can make it pay. And Corey being a left-hand shot coming in the right-hand side, but again, Phillips going down on the butterfly, but he's coming out to the edge of the crease, and he's a big boy, and he's mm -hmm. covering up, and you're going to have to start. You get a little frustrated, Matt, and you really start getting too fine and trying to pick corners instead of just firing the puck. 5'10", 180 Phillips in his second game of the year in net. Padanella trying to poke Simicelli off the puck. They fall. And eventually, the smallest guy there, Corey, comes away with it. Back to the point, McDonald's shot. And pretty much stopping that one like he was playing football was Bennett. That shot, that shot goes wide by McDonald. Well, McDonald was trying to feed the far side. He had three. Wide open. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> he think he get three guys there. And now it's Cosgrove's lead pass oh, in the feet tired. of Bro. That's a tired pass when you make that, and it goes in between the guy's legs because you're, you're pushing it with your legs instead of with your wrists. A deflection, and that one gets blocked in front. Pass gets through a couple people. Phillips will try and bat this one up, and he does eventually get it out. That was a hard play because the puck was bouncing. That's right. Here comes Simmons Selly. Good play made by Cullen. Knock him off the puck, and going for the hip check was DeCoss. But Cullen still has it. Down low, it's Metcalf. He tried to pass on the front. Nobody there. Bennett just flips it into the near corner. And the D switch. That's good heads up. And a good play made by Wazilko. Put the body on his man. But Cullen takes it back. Good back check by Connolly. A good play made by Olsen. The puck's still in the Spencer Board zone. Man, Olsen just does not quit. A deflection oh. by Cullen. That one did not miss by much. Great hand-eye coordination. Off the bench, it's Nowicki. He fires his shot. That one gets blocked in front and it looked like it just went wide. And Puck out in front. Now on along the far half wall. Sharon takes it away. But it's still kept in by the Saints. Alves barely nice keeps it in. by Alves. Team looks tired, so they're making a change. And they got a full line change with the puck in that zone. Bennett, nice pass off the boards to Snover. Boy, he just has such soft hands, Bennett. It's a lot of a lot of athletes in that family. So Bennett, definitely strong at hockey. Kuzlik shot goes wide. Does he play another sport? Not too sure about that. Maybe there's no. I know his uh, oldest brother played baseball. Middle one played soccer. Might have played a couple others. That puck goes up in the netting. He's a Bennett, so I would imagine he had to play a different sport. <laughs> yeah, his brothers. His brothers made him. <laughs> I would. I would imagine so. His brother John, I know, is an old is he friend the of youngest? mine. Alan, yes. Oh, he Tyler played, is the youngest. Yeah, he played more than one sport. <laughs> I was the youngest of three in my family. You play whatever the older brothers tell you to play. 8.08 left in the second period. Face off outside the Spencerport zone. It's a scramble there. Eventually Cosgrove walks away with it. He'll fire a shot. Looks like he fanned on it. Yeah, this tired leg. to fire on it. Doe Wolves will send this one around, but nobody's there, so Metcalf takes it. Tried to pass down in front, and he pokes it away. And it's still in the Spenceport zone. 
Eventually it's taken back by the Rangers. Frazier loses this one to Cosgrove, who's going one on four. And a good play oh, made by Frazier. with him. Frazier chips this one in. Kuzlik's going to get there first. Up the boards. Besser's shot gets deflected. And it's in the feet. A couple players. Now it's Corey with it. Down low to Simoncelli. He passes out in front. What a poke check by Phil. <laughs> I know, no. There is a person there, too. A shot put on by Corey. You're not going to get It's blocked in front. It's going down, and we're going to have an icing call. 7.06 left in the second, but we're going to take a break. This is a Ralph Onda High School Hockey Game of the Week on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the Ralph Onda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. Still 1 0 between the Rangers and the Saints. The Saints on top, the home team. Sharon back to the point. Finds an opening, he'll fire a shot. That one made it. He hit his glove. And he did hit his glove, knocked, okay. He knocked it into the corner. He just waved it like a one. Oh, mouth guard on the ice. Taken away is Quinn, the seventh grader. Nice pass up to Alves. And a good play made by McDonald. Oh, Horvath had him lined up. Sharon's pass. Oh, what a play, play by Bennett. A good play made by the senior captain. There's a reason why he has that C on his jersey. Sharon's pass, cross ice, shot fired, goes wide. McDonald. Great pass by Sharon. Boy, can that kid play. And this one goes down. Saints slap it in. Bennett takes it back, hits his own teammate right in front of him. Good poke check by Cosgrove. Metcalf, all alone, walks into a slap shot. Pad save made by Nichols. Bro puts a shot on that. Oh. Rebound there for Metcalf. Could not connect. Comes out in front to Cosgrove and he scores! I guess it was only a matter of time. Cosgrove gets his second, putting the Saints up 2 0. That they're a good keeping at the point by Bennett. It's the two captains connecting here, VJ. And also, that it was critical that Metcalf got his slap shot on net. You know, sometimes, Maddie, you take that shot from out deep and you don't hit the net, it comes all the way out of the zone and that kept the play in. But Bennett and then Cosgrove on the second effort. <laughs> Holy moly. 5.51 left in the second period. Cosgrove from Metcalf and Bennett. Top line doing work. Here comes Corey. Could not get through Collins, but another shot put on and might have hit somebody in front of her. If not, it surprised Phillips. As he really looked surprised there. Oh, Cosgro picked his pocket. And I guess it's an offsides call on the Saints with 529 left. And we're gonna take another break. This is the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week on My18 Sports. Face-off win by Cullen. He just slaps this one into the Spencerport zone. Hey, you called it earlier, man. It's senior night and the seniors are the goaltender. Bennett, Phillips, Cosgrove, wow. It's only fitting that the three best players for the Saints tonight, or it seems, VJ, is the three seniors. Absolutely. You could already, I mean, not a long way to go, but three stars of the night, you wouldn't go wrong with either one of those three. And the puck sent in. Kuzlik sends this one back out to center ice where Besser will take over for the Rangers. He'll break the red line. Almost turns it over. Simoncelli comes away with it. It's Corey. Tries to drop it, but it gets turned over. And it's Besser at the point. Fires a slap shot deflection and a scramble in front and put wide by the Rangers. My God, Cullen hit that and it kind of ricocheted off underneath him. Kuzlik is just comfortable with sending this one into Nichols. No icing, good, good clear by the defenseman. It's like he knew what he was doing. Boy, he just doesn't panic. The guy is just so solid. Connolly turns this one over. Getting there first is Cosgrove for the Saints. And now it's Bro. Nice lead pass to Metcalf. Here he comes, look at Kuzlik stepping up. That puck comes in, Nichols will hold with four minutes left in the second. The second period, by the way, 
is sponsored by Rick's Prime Rib House. For the biggest mouth-watering prime rib in Rochester, visit Rick's Prime Rib House, Buffalo Road and Gates, for your next family gathering. I know I say this every broadcast, but their prime rib is great. I love that place. Will you take me there? Because <laughs> I have yet to go. Oh, you we got to go. Okay. We got to go. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Puck comes out in front, it's in the it's crease. Loose. Scramble in front, and the Cosgrove comes away with it. Bennett slap shot, deflected by Conley, and it goes wide. It's Bro. Cosgrove open into the slot, rebound opportunity for Metcalf. He shovels it wide. Try to get it in on the backhand. Cosgrove dances around Sharon, and we have high stick. played with a high stick. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say, it's the same, it's the same Hand signals is a high sticking penalty, so I always want to make sure. Hey, while well, we got a minute, speaking of Valentine's Day, my wife had uh, major surgery. Honey, I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're feeling better. Uh, my wife, Katie, 27 years. I love her more now than the day. I married her. My sweetheart, I hope you're feeling better. I would think she is, especially after a nice, nice thing like that. I love that woman. And I love hockey. That's all. That's, that's my woman. <laughs> You're young. That's right. Here come the Rangers. Puck comes back out to center ice. Besser in that long reach. Olsen got the puck out of the zone again. Kuzlik over to his D partner, Collins. Nowicki will tip this one a little further, and DeCoste will take it over for the Rangers. He's hit by Nowicki and taken back by Quinn. Snover. Sends this one into the near corner for Quinn. Bounces off of his stick, and DeCoste will take it over. But Quinn, battling hard, takes his man out. And Snover cycles it back to nobody. So DeCoste had enough of that. <laughs> Taked right. it high up off the glass. Cosgrove winds up. That one was a bouncing puck, and that one was going well, wide. It actually was on the edge, yeah. so it was rolling. So when he hit it, it curved. He had time to settle yeah. it down, too. I think he can smell the hat trick. Collins will leave this one in. He kicks the puck down. It's Cosgrove, and he dances around one, and he gets poked off the puck by who else but Corey. Cosgrove battling for the Look puck with that. Besser. <laughs> he still has the puck, and Brandon Corey says enough of that. The Rangers do look tired. And a backhander by Brogue is blocked in front, and eventually the Rangers get it out of the zone. Simoncelli gets around one, he puts a backhander on that, knocks it down oh. on the midair, and that one is covered, and now we have a couple players going at it. What a play by Simoncelli, oh my gosh. You called it, Maddie. it's a great play coming around the corner, which I love, that kind of speed. And then a great save by Phillips, and then Simoncelli off the rebound, tried to bank it down in, almost like a lacrosse shot. 149 left in a second. Again, this period sponsored by Rick's Prime Rib House. If you're looking for the biggest, juiciest prime rib in Rochester, give Rick's Prime Rib House a try. A great family atmosphere and great service as to your dining experience. Rick's Prime Rib House, Buffalo Road and Gates. Sharon with a faceoff win, tries to stuff it on the front. Phillips is out of the net and he lost his equipment. Lost his blocker and his stick. As it, was, it must have been bumped into, the net yep. got knocked off again. That's about the third or fourth time that net's been knocked off. It's moorings. Yeah, he got spun around, and then when you get spun around, the glove, I mean, the, the blocker and the uh, goalie stick both flew off as he did the, about a 360. McDonald at the point. Another great draw by Sharon. Moran's shot. It's sent wide. Boy, that Moran just keeps lurking, you know? He, he just gets into that open spot. Puck comes along the far half boards. Oh, I love these battles. Two players going at it. Lazilko, and I believe that's Olsen. <laughs> Connolly tried to backhand this one on the front. He does. Nobody's there. A good play made by Olsen. He's been all over the place tonight, too. Gosh, I mean, he's just so smart. And, I mean, he's a little small, but... He keeps making plays, just moving, darting in and out. I'm very impressed. As Brian Young put him up on the second line tonight, one minute left, and a big hit by Horvath on McDonald. Puck goes all the way down, and we will have an icing call on the Saints with 49.6 left in this second period. Boy, there, there's, it, and it's in all sports, it's a battle of will, but one of the things, obviously, being a college coach for 21 years, you could tell so much 
uh, we say that hockey doesn't develop character, but it sure as all heck exposes it. You could see those battles on the board, those small little will. Cosgrove's goal, just that desire and will to succeed. Collins' pass across comes to Bro. Nice lead pass, just over the stick of Cosgrove, but he still gets it back, tried to fire a backhander on that, but it is blocked in front by Dobles. Coming back is Corey. Drops it for Sharon, and he loses it. And nobody there at the point. We have an offside, and the net comes off again. But Cosgrove with the hit, it, it'd be, if Sharon gets by him, he's got wide open, and he's also got Corey on the weak side or strong side, depending on where he goes with it. But Cosgrove stepped up again with another great play. And the puck will come out of the zone. 22.8 seconds left in this second period. Saints trying to get a quick line change. Cullen comes on for Bro. Face off just outside the Ranger, excuse me, the Saint zone. A little discussion before the face off. Good win by Cosgrove. It was behind him and he turned around and spun a pass up to Metcalf. Cullen's gonna get there first. Metcalf comes in to help. Digs it out. Less than 10 left behind the net. It's Cullen, good poke check by Besser. Then he just tosses him aside. He's and that'll do it for the period. He's a strong boy. Big Lakey defenseman, but he's got some strength there as well. That's the end of the second period. It's two nothing in favor of the home team. Churchill Chile Saints over the Spencer Port Rangers. And we're gonna take a break. This is your Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. We're in intermission after two periods. The home team Churchill Chile Saints are up two to nothing on their arch rival, the Spencer Port Rangers. VJ we talk, it's, it's senior night, we talked about that earlier, and it's really the senior standing out for the Saints right now. Well, Maddie, you said it with the goalie, only played one game, and he made three outstanding saves in the first period. Cosgrove has played with the heart of a lion. Bennett, and he's just so good with the puck. His hands are so soft, and he just makes that smart little play. And you got guys diving in front of that goalie to make saves, and thus you got a two nothing game. And what, what does Spencer Port need to do in order to come back, they've been getting opportunities on Phillips, but what do they need to do to capitalize on those? Well, it's an old saying in hockey, you gotta finish. And as you're coming down, and the other thing is, as you saw a couple times in that period, when they get speed through the neutral zone and they can back the Churchville Child Eye defense, back off that blue line and give them time to operate and even bring in a late guy, they're having a lot more chances in there. But they've gotta put that pressure and they've gotta use their speed through the neutral zone. Well, all this makes for a great third period, and we're going to have that coming up for you rather shortly. This is once again the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. High School Hockey on My18 is brought to you in part by Bill Grays, Rock Sports Network, and D Train Media. Welcome back to the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week on My18 Sports. The Churchville Chile Saints up 2-0 on the visiting Spencerport Rangers. It's about the start of the third period. Just want to mention this third period is sponsored by Locker Room Sports. They're outfitting beginners to pros playing hockey, soccer, and lacrosse since 1977, including Ryan Callahan of the Tampa Bay Lightning and Brian Gianta of the Buffalo Sabres and their families. Hey, Graham Lowe, Stephen, the guys at Locker Room, great, great people. I've known Graham for over 30 years. Local business, if you can, get in there and support them. They really want to make sure your kids are fit right. As a puck comes into the near corner of the Rangers zone, it's Bro with it. Back to the point, nice cross-ice pass. Bennett just fumbles that one, but he still manages to keep it in. Being a left-handed shot in that right point hurt him on that one. Bro's one-timer just misses. Nice setup by Cosgrove. I think it, def I'm pretty sure that puck deflected uh, off of Cos. Slap back in by Bennett. Saints starting to make a quick change. Short shift there, nice. Especially for Cosgrove, he played yep. quite a bit in those first two periods. 
Puck kept in, but knocked down by Bennett. And see how he blocked him from coming any farther? Nice play. It's Nowicki using his speed. Gets around a couple Rangers, and he'll risk this one in. And they give chase. Bodies collide. Snover keeps it in. And the puck gets flipped up in the air. Gloved down by McDonald. It comes to Bennett. He'll send this one in, and going after it is Quinn. That's Connor Quinn. Quinn and, and Snover trying to dig it free, but eventually it's Corey coming away with it. He'll bank this one off the boards, and nobody's there, so it'll go down for an ice team with 13.35 left in the third period. He banked the puck off in an indirect pass, and it got out of the zone and got all the way down. The fresh ice helped there, but I want to also mention Bennett. The puck was bouncing when it came to him at the blue line, and those soft hands again banged it back in. Taken away by the Rangers. Good back check by Bro. Connolly loses the puck just slightly, and Collins will take it over from there. Boy, Sharon was waiting behind the net to try and pick that one back off. That puck's going to go down for an ice team with 13-16 left in the third. We want to thank Steve Ralph at Ralph Honda for their support of high school hockey. They've been the sponsor of our games for six years now, and we along with these student athletes and their families, really enjoy seeing these games on television. Uh, my son Clayton, who just started his new job today in Nantucket. Son, I love you. I hope you have uh, a great career. But he uh, caddied for Steve Ralph. What a, I know Karen Ralph. What a great family, the Ralphs. And I just found out where Nantucket is today, <laughs> too. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it was in Europe. But I guess it, it's uh, <laughs> maybe time to go back to high school with these kids. Here's what my wife said. She was so she's so cute. She goes, "It's the farthest you could go in North America East. It'd still be in the United States." Couple players battling out right in front of the Saints bench. Connolly and Metcalf. That shot on net by Connolly gets knocked in front by Cosgrove. He sees his teammate Metcalf, who will just send this one in. Short the shift. They, yep, they continue to make quick changes. Look at Kuz like all the way up <laughs> in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Finally goes back once he realizes his teammates are out to help him out. No, oh, he was looking for the interception in the cannon. And he does take Let it, it away. Walks in, he'll fire a shot off the post. As Nichols, looked like he misplayed that. Well, it dipped as he shot it, man. He had dropped down and then went and just banged off the far post. That's a 12-6 curveball. That is a 12. Were you, a, were you a pitcher? No. Did you know how to snap one of those off? I, I pitched a little bit. My pitch was uh, straight and uh, straighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's about what I could do. The puck is in the skates of Horvath and a good play made by Phillips to knock the puck away from Sharon. Shot goes in front, blocked down, goes wide. Good drop pass by Corey there. Very heads up. It's Bennett. Banked off the boards. Corey keeps it in. Boy, that's one of the few times he hasn't gotten the puck out when he's handled it. And a good play made by Metcalf to stick check his man to keep get the puck out of the zone. He banged his stick and didn't allow him to get the puck and get it back in. A very small play, but a very important play to get that puck out of the zone. Bennett waiting behind his own net. Oh, blew too, a tire. Too far out of the reach of Bro. And the Rangers misplay this one, and they'll go back in. Horvath is going to get there. See how soft Bennett made that pass so Horvath could skate to it and not get a buddy pass? Nice play by Horvath to get it out. Besser at the red line to Corey. Tries to get around Horvath. He does, but he loses the puck. And now it's the two captains going at it. The puck comes out, and this one will go down. Corey sent the puck out. No icing. He tried to center it. You can tell the frustration might be setting in with that young man. Race to the puck between Collins and Connolly. It's in the near corner. Connolly's still with it. Gets knocked off the puck, and Kuzlik takes it away for the Saints. He'll skate through, give it to Cullen. Kuzlik going to the net. Cullen won't get his rebound. It bounced over his stick, and now it's to cost for the Rangers. Boy, that's two rushes. One time he stayed in the zone, and another time he came on the rush. He's looking for a goal. And Kuzlik did not see this one. Otherwise, he may have had an opportunity. 
He gloves it down and just throws <laughs> it up in the air. He didn't close his hand on it, though. And the delayed offsides call on the Saints. They'll have to check up. It looks like they're going to. Another mouth guard on the ice. Change. Puck comes over to McDonald. Through the center of the ice to Sharon. Sharon looks like he's got such great hands. Tipped back in by Connolly. Bennett's going to get there for the Saints. He has time. And Connolly intercepts it. Boy, he's made some great plays. The pass comes like out in front, and it was in the skates of Moran. Collins tied him up. Well done. I didn't think Moran saw it either. Right, and when he went to look down, it was too late because Collins yep. had pushed him away. He couldn't locate it. And Cosgrove manages to hold up, and Metcalf puts a backhander on that for Nichols, and Metcalf goes right to the net, much to the chagrin of McDonald. We have nine minutes left in the third. We're going to take our first break. This is a Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. Churchill Child I saying still holding on to that 2 0 lead with nine minutes left in the third over the Spencerport Rangers. Puck comes out of the zone. Going to go right in on Phillips, and he will cover it with Soretto. Looking for that puck. All yeah. right, now they've got a chance to face off down in their zone. Right here is Corey taking the draw. You get that quick draw right back, being a left-handed shot. See Simmons Sully at the top of the circle waiting for that one-timer. Nowicki and Corey, it's one to Simmons Sully. It's the play they wanted, but he fires it wide. Simmons Sully with it. Nowicki nearly got there first. They turn it over, and Horvath try to hit Soretto, and the puck goes back in for a play by Dobles. But he stopped the momentum of the play. Here's Corey. Fires a wrist shot. That one looked like it didn't miss by much. Maybe even Phillips got a piece that. It looked I like it was it tipped. Off. Yep, I think it hit exactly right. Good call. Besser will flip this one up. Coming in is Bennett from his D position. He still has it. Below the red line, it's Bennett with it yet again. He'll cycle it back down low for Snover. Oh, nice play to pick the pocket. Oh, and what a puck. play by Snover. Nobody was there, but it's Cosgrove with it. He still has it. Cosgrove walking around a couple, fires a shot. Glove save made by Nichols with 7.55 left in the third. This third period sponsored by Locker Room Sports with two locations to serve your equipment needs. Ridge Road West in Greece and the Bill Gray's Regional Iceplex. Boy, Quinn was waiting for the rebound there right in front, caused a little traffic. Good face-off win by the Rangers. Connolly coming away with speed and trying to avoid that long reach of Kuzlik. And the puck comes out in front and Collins will just knock this one away. Boy, on a ping pong. Kuzlik joins the rush. His shot is blocked in front. And now it's McDonald. That goes in the skates of Sharon. He wouldn't see it. And a turnover by the Saints. And this comes on out to center ice. And a good play made by Collins to knock Sharon off the puck. And Sharon steals it right back. And, and now it's, it's ping pong again. Here's Kuzlik, the defenseman. He's the only one in the zone for the Saints. They check up, Cullen comes in, fires a shot, pad save, rebound opportunity goes wide. Back to the point, it's Collins. His shot gets blocked. He gets it back, he'll try again, and deflection. And it looked like, the, I'm not sure if Cullen got a piece, but nonetheless, Nichols made a save with 6.57 left in the third. Nichols has had a solid game. That is a really difficult, you'll actually see some goalies jump up off their skates, because it hits in their chest, and then they don't want it to bounce back off it. That was a very, very difficult save by Nichols. Outstanding. The Saints regain control. Puck comes out in front. A backhander scramble in front. Corey takes it away. <laughs> As that net was open, VJ. Yep. DeCoss over to his D partner, Besser. His pass gets intercepted, but eventually taken back by Frazier. And the puck comes back. Simmons Sally up to Corey. He walks in. He fires a shot and he scores. Brandon Corey give him time and space. He might make it pay. Makes it a two to one game. The Rangers 
Down by one, 6.25 left to play in the third period. And that's what we talked about in between periods. Speed through the neutral zone, D to D, and then they came in, and Corey moved over into the left-hand side as Phillips moved over, and then he, sharp, he shot far side and roofed it. Great goal by Mr. Corey. He was in the middle of the ice too, went to the far circle exactly. and still managed to fire that one far side. Well, the goalie's got to go side to side there, Manny, and it's, so it's very difficult to keep your angle proper. As we got the two senior captains nearly going goal for goal. For goal. Puck comes back over to Besser. But it's turned over, taken back by Frazier. His pass. Nobody home, so it's taken away by Horvath for the Saints. Up to Metcalf, good bank pass. Now here comes Cosgrove. Clapper, he scores! It's a hat trick for Ryan Cosgrove. A beautiful slap shot. Saints take a two goal lead yet again, three to one, with 5.52 left in the third. And VJ, I think that play might have been set up at center ice by the little tip play by Metcalf to send Cosgrove free. He took, and this is what we say in hockey, you, you take the hit to make a play. And what he did, again, he uses his body. He's so strong in his core, he turned and then tipped the body so the defenseman had to play him, and now that gives Met, or excuse me, gives Cosgrove the ability to go around him, but more importantly, then Cosgrove kept everything together and kept his balance. Outstanding play all the way around. <laughs> now the players have to help Clean out the ice while well, they're doing that. We're going to take a break. This is a Ralph on the high school hockey game of the week, only on My 18 Sports. As we do welcome you back to this Ralph on the high school hockey game of the week on My 18 Sports, and they pass those cones out before the game too. I don't guess they're to yell, but and they're going to use them again to yell, but no hat trick. It's a cone trick. Face off at center. Yeah, nobody wanted to throw their hats out onto the ice. Those two young ladies got the little ones with the bunny hats, the white hats on. But uh, nobody was going to throw a hat on tonight because it is chilly in here. I did see a baseball cap over here along the near corner. But I guess that doesn't count because that's not really going to keep your head warm. Yeah, it might have been one of my Cubbies hats, though. I'm a Cubs fan. It's about 90% scar tissue. And the puck comes in on Phillips, and he will cover. You know, I'm surprised we didn't see a Maple Leafs jersey being thrown out there. <laughs> is, is it too soon? I don't, I don't know. If there's a Leafs fan that's going to watch this, I apologize. Boy, after Randy Carlisle uh, was fired, they really turned that program right around, didn't they? What are they, like 1 in 10? Something like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Would you rather be a Sabres fan or a Leafs fan? Leafs Sabres fan. At least Paul. you know the Sabres have a future. Anybody that's a Sabre, they got a dynamite minor league system. They got Sam Reinhardt, and uh, hopefully they'll have Connor McDavid shortly. Metcalf shot, gets blocked, and looks See like. See how he bent down in his knees with the balance? Corey in a good play made by Bennett. One on one. Good play made. It's Dobles with it. Sharon walks in, gets around one. Right, but Horvath got enough of that's him so right. he couldn't control the puck. Bennett just tries to one-hand that puck up the boards. Sharon stops it. Battle ensues in the far corner. Couple players trying to dig it free. And eventually it's a seventh grader, Spencer Quinn, coming and, away with it. And he lost his glove. <laughs> what an effort by that young man. And I, is that a rule when they have, or is it an icing no. call? Okay, icing call? Icing call. I was, gonna, I was watching the play over here and for a minute, the, I thought they blew the whistle because he when, lost his glove. When the helmet comes off, they got to come off, but not the glove. And let me tell you, I've played without a glove on a couple occasions when it's when it's lost. You are very aware of that bare hand. 4.46 left in the third. I want to mention this third period sponsored by Locker Room Sports. Stop in to see Graham, Steve, and the gang for special attention you deserve. They know the game, and they know the fit. Conley walks away with it, and he tries to shoot that one. It hits the outside of the net. You can see his reaction. It nearly gets it back, but it's taken away by Spencer Quinn. And Quinn, even without the glove, played tough. I like that guy. Snover's going to get there first. He gets taken down. Ain't hey. no wickies there. 
Collins with it. Over to Kuzlik. He'll put it on net. Save made by Nichols. Dang. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> it looked like he did have some time there, too, but he, he's playing smart. Just wants to get the puck on net because they do have a two-goal lead with four minutes left. Great point, Matt. That's exactly what he did. Excellent. Snover starting this strong cycle game for the Saints, but eventually taken away by Connolly. Gets around one. He comes in. Connolly fires a shot right into Phillips, and he... Tries to go at him, and now we got a melee ensuing as Phillips taking exception to what Connolly did, and now the goalie's going at it. And uh, looks like Big Kuzlik there is a peacekeeper. Nobody's really going to go after him, but Serrano coming in as well. I still think they're talking about pizza. They, they, I think there might have been a difference in where they should go for the pizza. I'm sure the Spence Ford people think their place is great, and these guys think theirs is great, but we're going to have some penalties. Kuzlik, look, is he the only one going to the box? You know, I've seen that happen before where a player will intentionally ice the goalie, and it's actually been a call. I watched that a couple of years oh, ago. Yep. Yeah, it's delay a game. And the, Brian Young is, needless to say, not too happy about that one. <laughs> Cross-checking for Kuzlik. We do want to mention real quick that Rochester sports fans, you can check out rocksportsnetwork.com, your online hub for Rochester area sports pod and webcast, game broadcasts, how-to videos, TV and radio shows, and much more to check out tonight's game on demand at rocksportsnetwork.com. A power play for this Rangers. That one gets blocked up. Waffle board it is, you might say. And it goes over the netting. Those guys at Rock Sports, I'll tell you, they're local guys. They cover local sports. Uh, they do a real nice job. Check them out on the web. Yes, uh, check me out on the web. It may sound weird, but it's uh, it's on Rock Sports Network. I guarantee it. No other site. It's Corey with it in the near corner. He'll walk up to the top of the circle. Sharon. They, they cycle nice. He fires a shot right into the bread basket of Phillips. He's been seeing the puck well tonight, VJ. I think it deflected off of Bennett and into his bread basket. He, he squares his shoulders to the shoulder and comes out to the edge of the crease. And, he, you know, he's got big shoulders. He's a big guy at 5'10", 180, and he's covering a lot of net. Goalie pulled. Minute 13 left in the power play for the Rangers. Face off one, and a good play by Bennett. Try and get this puck out, and what a play by Cosgrove diving. Knock this puck out. You think he wants to win tonight, VJ? I like this pull in the goalie. Cosgrove will flip it up, and a good keeping oh. by Besser using that tall reach. Right, but right there, you want Metcalf not. Now, he can ice it without any icing being called, but oh my gosh, when Metcalf touched that, if they had touched it first, the face off comes all the way down into their zone, but this is just as good. Puck comes up to Sharon. He gets around Cosgrove and he'll skate in. Sharon still has it to Dacos. Fires a shot and it goes wide. It's Corey. That, that was a pass shot. And a long cross ice pass. Besser shot. Rebound opportunity for Sharon. It wouldn't go. Sharon still has it to Dacos. He fires a shot. That one goes high and wide. Rebound opportunity pops up and it goes on top of the net. Corey looking for his second of the game. It was deflected off the. Churchville child eye defender though, so the faceoff will stay in this zone. Now they're gonna put their goalie back in and go five on four. 220, excuse me, 239 left in the third period, and I believe that's 16 seconds left in the power play. 16 or 18. We'll know in a second. That was 16. All right, cool. Good call, Matt A. Back to the point is Dacos. Fires a wrist shot, hits his own player. Besser tries to keep this in. Excuse me, Bennett will just backhand this one out to the blue line. It's a good keep in by the Rangers. The penalty is up. Kuzlik's on the bench. Cosgrove comes off. Now he's moving down to the end so he can come out in that defensive zone when they need a defenseman. Cosgrove takes it away. Indirect, he's going. He'll bank this off the boards. Alves will give chase. Beats Dacos to the puck. He gets tied up. Cosgrove comes down trying to help out. 
Digging the puck loose is Cosgrove. And the two players fall down. Cosgrove to taken out by Besser. And back comes Brandon Corey. He'll skate over the red line. He'll walk in, fires a shot, glove save made by Phillips with 1.38 left to go in this third period. He flashed that glove. He's been playing great all night. So pleased and happy for that young man. His second start of the season, and here he is against a tough Spenceport team, making save after save. It looks like we're going to get a timeout for Spenceport with 1.38 to go. We actually have a player lying down on the ice waiting for his coach, and with that timeout, we'll take a break as well. This is the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. Welcome back to the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. We have a minute 38 left in this third period with the Saints holding on to a 3-1 lead over the Spenceport Rangers, thanks to three goals by Ryan Cosgrove. What are you expecting the Rangers to do here, BJ? Well, you got a face-off to the right of Phillips and the face-off dot. So you're going to want to see if Corey's going to take the draw, the left-handed centerman. Is he going to try and draw it back? A little while ago, he drew it right back. We talked about it to Simicelli. Goalie pulled for the Rangers. Top line's out there for each team. Now he's a left-handed shot with nobody behind him on the left, so he's probably not going backwards with the puck. Strong face-off win by Cosgrove. It comes back to Sharon at the point, who just keeps it in. Oh, see how he danced backwards, sideways with the puck there, being a left-handed shot on the right point. Kuzlik banked off the boards, flipped out by Bro. Race to the puck, McDonald. And Bro looks like he might get there first. And he nearly does, but Sharon has to come back and help out. I was looking for where Cosgrove is. Here's Sharon walking in. He'll fire a shot blocked right in front of him by Bennett. It's Connolly with it now. Cross ice pass, Corey's shot. I believe they hit the outside of the net. Good call, yep. Corey's still with it. And a good play by Metcalf to knock him off the puck and now it's Cosgrove again. Getting taken down by Connolly, no call. Saints bench looking for one. And the Rangers turn it over, so it's Bro. He'll backhand this one. This is going to go wide. But when it goes on its edge, it can go right. right around. Sharon with it. 30 seconds. Besser. He'll slap this one in on Phillips, and he just kind of kicked that one right yes. up into his glove. It looked like it hit his stick, and he it, just went, I'll take that. You got it exactly right, man. That hit his stick, and it almost surprised him going right into his glove. But we say it over and over again tonight. His positioning is so sound that having his glove in there open, and it did it, deflected right up. Saints trying to complete a line change. Yeah, he wants to get somebody over on uh, Bennett. As, yeah, Alves will come off, and Nowicki goes on. Metcalf takes his face off. He wins it. Bennett will just send this one around. Cosgrove's going to get there. He'll slap it down, and it goes in for his fourth goal. And that'll do it. Cosgrove clinches it. 19.7 seconds left. That's Cosgrove's fourth. The Saints go up 4-1. to one. Well, the old saying is, Matty, when you're hot, you're hot. That was about a 120-foot shot <laughs> dead into the net. I think that young man can finally take a breather. I saw him earlier, and he was just nearly sitting down on the bench, went out at the last possible time. But he'll stay out as he's a senior. Well, he made a great comment off ice, or off in between periods, where that break between the second and third benefited him more than anybody. Absolutely. Puck right in front of us. And it will come over for DeCoste with six seconds left. He'll slap this one in. It goes down and we have an icing call with 2.2 seconds left. I don't know why they don't they don't need to worry about an icing call there. Oh, see, I'm from the thing is an icing is an icing is an icing, and you want to make sure and unless and we've and we've had this discussion uh, amongst coaches and officials, unless there's a lot of falderall and stuff going on and bad blood. And that'll do it. A drop of the puck, and the Saints come out on top, 4-1 to one on their senior night. And they all pile around. Tyler Phillips congratulate him. 
Outstanding effort by the Saints team. These two rivals played a heck of a game tonight, BJ. Yeah, they did, and it, I mean, it really wasn't, we say it's a kind of a cliche, but it really wasn't a four to one game. Uh, Spencer Ford had some great opportunities in that first period. Then there was a five on three. They had another great period. But Phillips only playing a second game of the season came up big. And then it became the Cosgrove show with a lot of help. Absolutely. Metcalf, Bennett, and a lot of guys, Collins, a lot of people helped in this game for Churchville Chilock. And we'll be right back with our player of the game. This is the Ralph Onda High School Hockey Game of the Week, only on My18 Sports. We're here with the player of the game, Ryan Cosgrove for the Churchill Chilai Saints. But four goals tonight in their four to one victory over the Spencerport Rangers. Obviously this was a special night for you being senior night, but to top it off with four goals must make this a lot much better. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Just being here for five years and seeing all the work that everybody's done and coming all the way. I've been talking about this all day and the guys really pulled, pulled through for me tonight, especially our goaltender. Gotta give it up for him too. And he's another senior. How special was it for him to get the start tonight? No, normally not a starter, actually played defense at times this year, but to come up as big as he did. Yeah, he played huge for us. He uh, he actually had one practice with us in the past week and a half, I think, and uh, he was a net once all year for us. And he came into coach's room this morning and goes, Coach, I want to start tonight, and played on his head. Unbelievable. You know, we mentioned at times throughout the games, it was really the senior stepping up for you guys. As Bennett also had a strong game on the back end. I mean, was there something you guys said before coming into today's game? Because it seemed like you three were the best guys on the ice. Yeah, we've had about two weeks here since our last game. We, we've been kind of a little bit of a rut. And, uh, you know, the past two weeks we've been working, working after practice, working out, everything we've been doing. We've been preaching to everybody. And, you know, he, we've been rolling 3D all year. He's been stepping up for us big time. You know, he, he, he's just doing great out there for us. Well, Ryan, we'd like to congratulate you and give you this nice plaque as player of the game. Congratulations. Thank you. And a great career as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. My 18 Sports would like to introduce today's Zweigels fan of the game, Aiden Snover, a fourth grader from Churchville Chilai Elementary. Aiden receives a Zweigels t-shirt, $25 gift certificate from Locker Room Sports, and two tickets to an Amherst game. Well, that about wraps up our Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week. It's the Churchville Chilai Saints come out on top 4-1 to one over the visiting Spencerport Rangers. And uh, VJ, it really was the story of the seniors tonight for the Churchill Chilai Saints. Yeah, even though Cosgrove was the player of the game, Phillips in goal, Tyler Phillips had a phenomenal game. Bennett, the seniors really played hard. Big guys play big in big games, but I really thought it was a team effort. They were diving in front of the goalie. I mean, they were making plays from their knees, getting the puck out. Metcalf made that great play. I really thought that's what community, and that's what we talk about in hockey. It was a true team effort, even though Cosgrove got all four. And just like it's a true team effort tonight with BJ and myself, that about wraps it up. Once again, the Churchville Chilai Saints come out on top four to one over the Spencerport Rangers. For VJ Stanley, I'm Matt Winthrop. Thank you for watching the Ralph Honda High School Hockey Game of the Week on My18 Sports, and we'll see you next time.